Hey, stop the cap, stop the cap. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Stop Capping here, and today we're talking about um, the fourth horseman in another episode of The Vault. Uh, so, uh, without further ado, let's get to it. The fourth horseman is an exotic shotgun that has arc uh, arc element um, powers, and um, the impact is really good for this weapon in this game. Obviously, the reload speed is not the best. It's a lot better in Destiny 2. Um, in Destiny 2, it, the reload speed is buffed up to at least 36% out of 100. Um, this one feels like about like barely 20%. And then with the Catalyst, um, you get 76 um, out of 100 in Destiny 2. Now, the only difference in Destiny 1 is you got five rounds in the magazine instead of um, that instead of Destiny 2 and Destiny 2 you get four uh, you only get five rounds in the magazine once you complete the catalyst and uh, Destiny 2 and um, And of course that reload speed um, But the perks here are really good um, We got Thunderer uh, This weapon could be fired in full auto um, And you know it was unheard of on, at the time in Destiny 1 compared to other other weapons with like only loading holster or full auto host you know full auto holster um, or you have the full auto mod now that we have in the game in Destiny 2 um, the full auto mod came out a couple of seasons ago finally um, you know not many of these weapons have full auto you know especially with um, the shotgun I have like the comedian or her champion for destiny one so let's get to it uh, with the barrels a CKC ballistics greatly reduces recoil penalty of the range as you can see but for my character I use accurized ballistics because you get more range and impact and increased recoil with field choke you have more range and impact and increased recoil so these two are very deceptive in terms of, you know, they have the same definition, but if you look at the stats, you looked at Acarized Ballistics, the Acarized Rounds has more stability and you get the same amount of impact. And next up, we got Final Round. Last round of the magazine deals more damage. So it has kind of like that Hawk Moon perk for the hand cannon, exotic uh, um, hand cannon Hawk Moon. You know, you know, last round and the magazine deals bonus damage. And that's really good for a shotgun, so you can imagine how much you know DPS that's going to be. Uh, for the stocks, we got increased weapon stability. Um, as you can see, looks um, really good. Um, but for me, I prefer a more reload speed. But before that, we get to that, we get to uh, hand loaded this. This is effective at extended range uh, with the weapon. So hand loaded is just a little bit more range. But um, you really don't need that much range with the shotgun because, you know, at the end of the day, you, you do need some reload speed. So quickly reload this weapon. So regardless, if you don't take the fitted stock, um, regardless of fitted stock, you don't need to, uh, you know, you don't, you don't need to have that much stability at, you know, at the end of the day. W would more stability be great? Yeah, I mean, that's a good preference if you want more stability. But I prefer more reload speed. And the last perk is Return Ascender. Kills with this weapon have a chance to grant bonus damage to the uh, bonus ammo to the magazine. So think about it. You know, killing people with this weapon will give you bonus ammo to the magazine. So let's uh, let's kill some baddies. Now here we go. Here's a jabroni right here. Hey man. Look around. Oh! Yeah, I love shotguns, man. Ever since uh, Wolfenstein and Doom, uh, when you're able to pick up a shotgun, it really showed me in video games and first-person shooters, shotguns are a common denominator with your basic weapon loadout. Especially Resident Evil. Man, you just aim up high and uh, blow zombies' heads off. You know, in the in the in the, in the original uh, Resident Evil games, you know, one, two, three, before they messed up all those damn mechanics, and four, they realized you can't cheese people with shotguns anymore. You still blow people's faces off. 
All right, so I'm gonna show you guys with the uh, with the bubble reload speed. How much the reload speed is different? Here we go. So let's just say let's just let me kill these guys. So you can see you, you hear the full auto on that one. Two shots there, two shots there. Oh, here we go. Here's a schmuck. Look how much faster that is. Here we go. This is what weapons of light. So, I always like to compare damage with weapons of light. It's really good. So hopefully the bubble doesn't go away. Uh, no. so you got to see a little bit of that. And where's with my buddy? There we go. So you can see how much slower that is. It's so slow. Uh. Are you gonna get more? Are you gonna drop more special ammo? No. <clears throat> I guess I got one more, one more round for a special falling. Oh, here we go. That's all we got right there. Yeah, so that's all we got right there, but guys. So that's your exotic shotgun, arc shotgun of the fourth horseman. Like so, like I said again, guys. Um, Leave a comment below if there's a specific weapon I might have in the vault that's exotic. Um, and, you know, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and keep on gaming. Peace.